bacon. What's for dinner? That's just, just, this is what it is. Welcome to Walmart. Get your stuff and get out. I actually didn't get into Hogwarts. I got denied. It was a fake letter. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Mike. That's right, today Shan's cooking, isn't she? Uh, I had just gotten hired as the fly fishing and retriever guy for ESPN. She came to my office, I think it's probably 1998, probably. And she walked in, she goes, I'm gonna be the editor and producer for the retriever event. I need you to show me what a retriever trial is. She's a Steven Spielberg of outdoor TV, if you will. You think about like, um, think about Jose Wahebe's show, The Spanish Fly, very popular. Well, you gotta remember when, when that show came out, you had Jimmy Houston, you had Bill Dance, you had her dad's show, uh, The Fishing Hole. You had, uh, th th that's what fishing and outdoor shows were. She's probably the first one that ever took uh, any of that inlaid classical music underneath it. So that underwater f scenes that you saw with classical music and Tchaikovsky and Beethoven, and that's probably the only two I know, but, but you know, not ACDC. Those guys, uh, she laid that stuff under there. And uh, I mean, the team gets an Emmy, um, but Anybody that knows TV knows the editors and producers are the ones who, who win and, and lose the Emmy, just like in a movie. And I've never had a French toast, but I'd be shocked if it's not some of the very best French toast on the planet, so. You know, the one thing that's really important about breakfast, flowers, we had to have them. Today, we are making French toast. I think the ingredients are gonna be bread, eggs, milk, cinnamon, butter, syrup, with a side of bacon and I guess eggs. Uh, I do Retriever series, which primarily Retriever is my number one breed. I produce a lot of the features and live streaming. We live stream a lot of the events out, so that's kind of cool. So I'm going to go with the um, pasture-raised organic eggs. I met Justin at Great Outdoor Games. He was a retriever organizer and fly fishing organizer. I was an associate producer um, through our company at JM. And, D and Steve Danaway also worked for JM at that time. And he did a lot of the, um, I think he was setting up a lot of the way we researched um, all the athletes at that, at that deal. And he did, you know, he did mostly all the technical stuff around the office and stuff like that. So, um, so I knew him. Um, I left JM to continue on with the Retriever series. Justin was also doing Water Dog at that time, so I produced both of those shows, Super Retriever series and Water Dog. So that's how I knew Justin. And Steve went on his own and still was working on all of our websites and stuff, so then we just paired up. And uh, so that, that's how that happened. We got everything we need for Chef Mike. I hope he's happy with my choices of ingredients. French toast on the way. It's whatever you want to do. Well, no, you, you got to. No, no, you're, you're, in, your charge. you're, you're in charge on this kitchen. one, though. But it's your French toast. Do, have like, your... do you have, like, spray pan? Uh, oh, she's great. No. No. I really like Mike. He's, I think he's a great chef. Um, he's really attentive to his bacon. Get your eggs. Keep your bread and your eggs. Put a little cinnamon there. Sugar. Cook them. And there. There's your, there's your, there's your French toast. Mm -hmm. Makes for good content. Wow. I'm not even going to use a D&T branded one. Oh, sorry. It's got your initial. 
Well, he didn't hit him. He didn't hit me while I'm blaming it on you. Mike, Michael, what are you oh, doing? Gosh. I didn't see That's one. Oh, wow. <laughs> game plan for bacon. This I'm going to start doing this. Amazing parchment wraps. Delicious bacon. Uh, cook it and eat it. That's not even funny. This is a whole comedy <laughs> show, bro. <laughs> it makes me look like I'm not a good cook, and I am a good cook. I'm trying again. Oh. I'm trying to see if I can do this good. I was telling Chef Mike about this place I went to and how they had added cinnamon and I thought it looked so, and it tasted so good. So I was going to try to do a little bit of that. Let's see how that works out. Who else is going to take the time to do this? Exactly. Chef Mike sure is a little His pancakes are so fluffy. He just cooked perfect. His bacon, not too burnt, not too floppy. Pancake Friday is special though. All of us here at DMT. Past year. Uh, Michael, he definitely didn't throw that because he's an angel. She let, and dare I say, provoke her dog to take a shit on her kitchen. <laughs> That was that was a, that was a challenge. That, that was a very different way of throwing the gloves. That was a very different way of throwing the gauntlet. Um, I don't know. I don't have a dog, and I didn't bring my cat today to also take one. Uh, so I didn't know that's how we're doing challenges in the kitchen. But now that I know, I'll uh, I'll make sure to uh, be prepared next time. What's the tremendous weight on your shoulders knowing that you're solely responsible for the nourishment of your team today? Yeah, it's fine. Get back, Peachy. Oh, my goodness. Let's try to be honest. I will, I will be honest because I have a feeling it's going to be the white bread. It's good too. I don't know, that's pretty good. Yeah. Got that grainy little nutty. Mm. That's good.